We only be able to interview is Wendy Sly at the National Running Show, Sunday, 21st of January. Um, first of all, can you just tell me a little bit about your history as an athlete? Well, I started running when I was 11 years old. Um, I still run now, so I've been running for 47 years. Um, I joined an athletics club, competed at club level, and then um, worked my way up to Olympic level and won an Olympic medal in the 1984 Olympics. So. I've kind of covered the whole spectrum. I now mentor a couple of young athletes and um, do some team management, but I'm also a fun runner myself. Yeah, so you're the ultimate endurance woman. So yes. um, endurance women is all about empowering women through sport and through taking part in events. How do you think, do you, would you agree with that? And how do you think we could, you can learn from being doing endurance events and doing the sport? I think that endurance events um, have become far more popular, and particularly for women. And I think over the time that I've been involved in running, women have gone from not competing at um, a distance longer than 800 metres to being able to run ultra marathons. Um, mass participation events now are 50% women quite often. And I think over the last 25, 30 years, women have proven that they can actually be um, as tough a strong, mentally resilient, um, do the training and compete at the same distances as men. And I'm pleased to see that women in the Olympics now compete at every distance. And I'm pleased to see so many women taking part in events from 5K right the way up. Yeah, and actually women in endurance are often on a nearly on an equal par with men. Um, do you think that women have special qualities that enable them to, to be a more of an endurance type athlete? I think um, I, I do a lot of team management and I have to say some of the young girls coming through cross country, yeah. um, they're mentally very, very tough, yeah. they train very hard. Um, I think women physiologically are obviously different to men, but I think they can push themselves extremely hard. Uh, now that goes from the fun runner right the way up to somebody running in the Olympic marathon final. Yeah. And I think that continues as we get older and there's evidence of lots of older women now pushing boundaries all the time and you mentioned to me earlier about a friend of yours who is 70. Yeah, I have a friend um, who lives in America and uh, I've known her for about 40 years and she um, still exercises pretty much every day. She um, swims or runs or run walks or goes to the gym and she looks absolutely amazing and the benefits of exercising are, um, are many fold. Uh, they're uh, psychologically very beneficial, um, they're physiologically very beneficial but then there are silly things like being able to wear a pair of high heel shoes which if you have to be strong in your stomach to support your back um, and just general health you know um, keeping fit so that you um, actually live a, a healthier life longer. Yeah, and living long, living well are two key things that, as I said earlier to you in a conversation, living long is one thing, but living well is quite another thing. And I think women are driving that forward by taking part in sport, by being part of it. We talked about confidence as well, and do you, you find that when you see women doing sport, they're more confident in life in general? Yeah, I mean, I, I was a quite shy um, young girl. Uh, running when I grew up was a fairly um, unheard of um, sport for women to do, so I used to get the mickey taken out of me quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but then you start to have success, and, and then so that success gives you confidence. Now, I think for some women, you know, the success of complete, completing a 5K or completing a marathon or running a best time or losing a bit of weight, it all comes down to confidence, um, and that is good for a healthy life. And that Olympic mentality of yours that helped you set goals, that, you, that got you to be a winner in, in, on the track, also translated into your career as you, you um, yeah, yeah. quickly accelerated, didn't you? Yeah, so I was 10 years behind my friends yeah. um, because I was running. Yeah. And so I started at the very bottom of the career ladder and I worked my way up um, fairly quickly. And I think the sort of determination, resilience, a little bit of confidence um, helped me do that. And it's never too late, and you don't have to be an Olympic athlete to learn those skills by doing sport. No, I, I think um, what is so wonderful about the sport of running particularly is it's a very easy sport for people to get into. It's very low entry, so you need a good pair of shoes and a good bra. 
um, and well for women yeah, and yeah. Um, just get out there in the fresh air just being in the fresh air is, is, a, is a great feeling um, and build up slowly and, and with the building up comes the confidence and then then being able to complete something that you never thought you'd be able to do is an amazing feeling whether that be an Olympic final or a park run. So it's a place to just get out there doing it and seeing what you can learn about yourself in the process as well as enjoying it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thanks very much Wendy.